In this video, we'll see how to build a virtual machine from scratch and install an operating system from uploaded media. We're already logged into vCloud Hybrid Service, so let's click the virtual data center where we want to build the virtual machine. On the Virtual Machines tab, click Manage in vCloud Director to drop into the vCloud Director UI. This is where we'll start building the virtual machine. Go to the My Cloud screen and then click Build New vApp to open the new vApp window. Let's start by giving the vApp a name. In this example, we'll build a new Windows Server 2003 virtual machine. But first, we have to create a vApp container for it. So we'll call the vApp Win2K3-vApp. We'll leave the leases the way they are and click Next. From here, click the New Virtual Machine button to set the properties for the virtual machine. In the New Virtual Machine window, start by giving the virtual machine a name. Here, we'll call it Win2K3VM. The operating system family is Microsoft Windows, and the actual operating system is Windows Server 2003. vCloud Hybrid Service provides the ability to customize the virtual machine size. For this example, we'll leave the compute at one CPU, but let's increase the RAM to two gigabytes and specify a 16 gigabyte hard drive. We can resize this virtual machine at a later point if needed. Click OK to return to the new vApp window and then click Next. On the Configure Resources tab, verify that you have the correct virtual data center and storage profile, and then click Next. For this example, we'll actually connect the virtual machine to the isolated network and grab a static IP address from the IP pool on the network. Click Next, verify the networking settings, and then click Next again. Finally, on the Ready to Complete tab, Click Finish to deploy the vApp. Once the vApp is created, we'll upload the image media. Go to the Virtual Machines tab of the vCloud Director UI. Now click the Virtual Machine and then select Insert CD DVD from Catalog. In the Insert CD window, notice that the available media files are shown. Let's choose the Win2K3 standard image and click Insert to upload it to the catalog. Remember that our virtual machine is actually on an isolated network, not connected to the internet. But we can still upload an image to the virtual machine because we have direct access to it through the VMRC console. Some other service providers only provide RDP, SSH, and DHCP, which means you have to use pre-configured templates. With vCloud Hybrid Service, you can build templates from scratch without connecting the virtual machine to the internet. If you have a fully scripted installation of an operating system, including all the drivers and patches needed, you can upload the image to vCloud Hybrid Service and fully configure it. Once the media is uploaded, open the Virtual Machines console to verify that the image is attached to Windows. And from here, you can start building the new virtual machine. Remember that Windows will restart after all files are copied over. And once installation is complete, just eject the DVD from the disk drive. And that's it. Now you know how to use vCloud Hybrid Service to build a virtual machine from scratch and install an operating system from uploaded media.